Oh, cry from internet users over the controversial Cybersecurity Act. CISPA is set to spill into the streets. The hacker group Anonymous is hitting back in response to the bill by launching what it calls Operation Defense Phase 2. We are calling upon the citizens of the United States to physically protest. CISPA having passed the U.S. House of Representatives on Friday is now a step closer to becoming law. It's now heading to the Senate as the White House continues to threaten a veto of the bill. The act could allow Internet companies to legally share sensitive user information with the American government. A move critics say infringes on privacy and civil liberties. Journalist David Seaman explains how this bill puts everyone at risk. You're going after people before they've even committed anything uh, that's illegal. Uh, in the case that they added to that amendment, where they added that now they can do this to protect children, to protect minors, this can be something as vague as you know somebody who is 17 years old. Uh, if you have a cousin and he or she is 17, uh, that's enough for the government to read through all of your emails potentially, all of your Facebook messages, every website you visit, and uh, do all of these things, A, without telling you, and B, without obtaining a warrant or getting any kind of court involvement for, beforehand, and they can just go on this fishing expedition and see everything you've ever done online and then take it from there. Uh, it's just profoundly scary. I don't have a problem with spying on bad guys. I have a problem on spying on people who've done nothing wrong and doing it in the name of protecting children and uh, protecting us from cybersecurity threats that I'm not convinced are even real. There are already a lot of mechanisms for the government to see uh, what you know bad actors are up to online. This is just a gross invasion of the everyday person's privacy. And for what? I don't understand what the trade-off is here. I don't understand what we gain uh, as individuals in exchange for giving the government this free pass to look through all of our activities. Luke Samuel from online magazine Spiked thinks the CISPA bill is one of the latest attempts by the U.S. government to limit the First Amendment rights of its citizens. Can anyone actually name a significant act of cyber terrorism that has happened in the West ever? No, because it never has done. It's an imagined threat. And it's an imagined threat which now threatens our freedom online. I don't think this is about internet security. I think it's about national security generally. I think this act is more likely to be used to control and monitor efforts to organize um, terrorist attacks offline. Now, the danger with that is that in, the, in, in America specifically, we've recently had uh, arrests of individuals uh, for uh, uh, encouraging um, uh, al-Qaeda sympathies. Now, that used to not be possible in the Amer in, uh, under the American legal system because of the First Amendment. Because of these recent cases, there's a radical reinterpretation uh, un underway of the First Amendment and, more broadly, free speech's position in American society. So I don't think we should be concerned about those that small minority who might, you know, try and shut down MasterCard for another half an hour. We should be concerned about the, Americans, the American government government's will and uh, drive to control not just our freedom online, but our freedom to publish ideas more widely.